Hey guys, welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play a jazz tune by Sonny Rollins called St. Thomas. We'll be looking at the main theme from the Playground Sessions intermediate level arrangement, and that section we're going to be learning today sounds like this. One, two, set, go. This is a fun, light, bouncy jazz tune by one of the genre's greatest performers and composers. So I'm excited to be teaching you guys this one today. And we're going to do the right hand melody first, then we're going to look at the left hand chords, then we're going to put the hands together just like we do in all of these YouTube lesson videos. Speaking of lesson videos here on YouTube, we just decided to start posting three per week instead of two. So now you've got an additional song lesson per week, an additional genre, an additional artist, so there's more options to choose from. Tap the card above to learn more about the three songs we're posting per week. But let's go ahead and break this down, starting with the right hand first. Let's go. First off, our key signature, zero sharps, zero flats, that means we're in the key of C major. And the time signature tells us four, four, four beats per measure. Hand position is pretty straightforward. We start with our two finger on G above middle C. Our five is on C above that. Walking down four on B, three on A, two on G. Thumb down to E. This is our position from E to C. And within that position, the two and three fingers shift a bit but we never extend or change positions outside of this six note position, at least for this main section. So let's talk rhythm. The first measure, we are all syncopated eighth notes, all on the upbeats. One, and two, and three, and four, and. All on the upbeats, resting on all the downbeats. And then the second measure, we're playing eighth notes still, but we're all on downbeats this time. So in measure two, it goes one and two and three and four and. So measure one, all syncopated. Measure two, all on the strong beats. And that sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Measure three, also on strong beats. One and two and three and four and. Then we have a measure of rest, and the second line below is almost exactly the same, except for one little rhythm there in the second measure of that second line. Instead of one and two and three and four and, we play one and two and three and four. So it's the same thing, but instead of playing G rest, we play G G. Otherwise the same. Why don't we bring up our medium tempo backing track so we can play along with our jazz band and let's practice this at the learning tempo. When we've got that down and we've done it a few times so we're feeling comfortable, then we'll try it at full tempo. But here we go, medium tempo. One, two, set, go. Rest, now look ahead. Two eighth notes now. So guys, please rewind to play back with me at that medium tempo, but when you're ready, meet me here. We're gonna try it once at full tempo. One, two, set, go. Great work, well that's the right hand. Now let's talk about the left hand harmony. Then we'll bring the right hand back in at the end to put the hands together. All right, so we've got a handful of chords in this left hand part. Why don't we just walk through each one independently of any rhythms or timing or counting, just so we can get used to the chord shapes. Then, as a second step, we'll add some timing to it. Our first chord is C over E. First inversion C major chord. We're playing that with five, three, one fingers. And we've got that for four counts, the whole measure. Next measure, we change the middle note up to an A. That gives us A minor over E. Next chord, A7 over E, we're dropping the middle note back to G, we're sliding our hand back up to the back of the keys so our thumb can play C sharp. All right, those are each two counts. Now, measure three, still two count notes, still a half note. We're gonna play D minor seven. We're gonna do it with five, four, one. 
Okay, next chord in this measure, G7 over F. Just these two notes, F and B, with four and one. And then, to finish out this first phrase, we're going to play the same chord we did in the beginning, C over E. Just for one quarter note, and then we're going to rest. Second line down, exactly the same thing. So C over E, A minor over E, A7 over E, D minor 7, G7 over F, and C over E. So just like the right hand, let's try this at our medium tempo now first, then we'll go to full tempo. One, two, set, go. All right, now full tempo when you're ready. One, two, set, go. All right, guys, all we've got to do now is put these hands together, so let's do that. But first, let me just say, before we wrap up this video by putting the hands together, where do you go from here once you're done? you got to learn the rest of this song. There's more sections. There's a solo section in the advanced level arrangement, at least. And there's multiple difficulty levels. There's also a rookie level arrangement. All of that can be found in the Playground Sessions app. And right now we're doing a free trial where you can try the app for 30 days with no strings attached. So click the link in this video description or tap that card above to start your free trial today. All right, let's go ahead and try to put these hands together. I encourage you first to pause and go through each beat of each measure, figuring out when the hands play on the same beat or when, let's say, the right hand plays while the left hand is resting, or let's say the left hand plays while the right hand is holding out a different note. I want you to walk through each beat of each measure and figure that stuff out without the pressure of any metronome or tempo or counting. Once you're feeling good there, then meet me back here. We're going to try this hands together at the medium tempo. One, two, set, go. There we go. So as always, practice with that speed as many times as you need. But now we're about to wrap this up at full tempo. Let's go for it. One, two, set, go. All right, guys, way to go today. You learned the main section from the intermediate level arrangement of a classic jazz song by Sonny Rollins called St. Thomas. Give yourselves a round of applause. features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Alright guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.